Hey y'all, it's Diane with Shaw Craft One and my old barn door. And I am back with the second video for the booth for Miss Diane Goolsby. I have four journals to show you. So we're gonna flip through quickly, but look at how beautiful. She's got it tied with this gorgeous organza ribbon. Look at this gorgeous fabric. I'm in love with this fabric. I don't know if you can see it good. And then she's got all this laces and the little flowers here. Then you have a little lace on the spine with a gorgeous little dangle, and I love the bell. Love, love, love the bell. And then she's got, um, of course, her little charm that she always puts, but the little dangles from the signature. And then, let's show you the back of it. Look at how pretty. Oh, this is so gorgeous. I love this fabric. Okay, so this is, okay, I'm gonna untie this because this is interactive here, I think. Let me see. Oh, it is. Oh, look how stinking cute that is. Oh, my goodness. It's attached with the lace. How cute. So, you have a little pocket here made of lace. This is a pocket, um, like a cellophane pocket. How stinking cute is this? What a great idea. I love this so much. And look at this beautiful fabric that she's made the cover out of. I'm in love with this fabric. It is beautiful. Okay, and then you have, okay, it's, I kept thinking that was a tag, but it's a tab. How stinking cute is that? And it just kind of lets you know that that's a pocket. And then look at the pretty lace she's got coming out of the bottom of the journal. Okay, so let's turn it over. And I love how she has the little tab here as well. Here's the information sheet. Let's see. Oh, this one's a flip open too on the front cover. How cool is that? So this flips open and this is still the cover. So you have a little pocket here with one of her gorgeous watercolors. And then it's a little belly band here with a teeny tiny tag. Or actually that's a pocket. How cute is that? I'm loving it. And I love how she put the little... Um, tab on there with the safety pin with the bead on it how very pretty so this is a flip open of the original cover as well this one's called bird songs nature it's 10 by 7 four signatures 184 pages three and a half inch spine okay so um i'm gonna leave this information sheet in here oh look i forgot this little pocket over here oh my goodness i'm telling y'all there's just so much. Look, you get another one of her watercolors. How pretty is that? And I love how she puts them in those little sleeves. All right, so we're gonna leave that there and we're gonna flip through this one. My goodness, this one's a monster. Look at how be big and beautiful she is. Oh, I love it. Beautiful little pocket here. You have a pretty little tag, little bingo card and a little journaling card tucked in that front pocket there. I love the material that she's used um, for the inside cover. Gorgeous, gorgeous papers, and look at her pretty page tabs. And she's got the little dangles with the beads on them. Lots of stamping or stenciling. Okay, this is a fold out, and I am totally not even going there because y'all know it would be bad if I tried. <laughs> cute little pocket here or a little sack I love this paper okay we're gonna flip quickly because this this has a lot of pages in it look at how pretty and again y'all are just gonna have to get the journal to see all of the details because she's got so many details in these wonderful journals um, that you just have to get it to see it you get all the laces she's got coming out of the bottom here how pretty is that center of that signature? Gorgeous little booklet here. How cute is that? She's made a little booklet with a recipe card and lace. Oh, I love that. And then just a little piece of ephemera there. I love these little pockets that she's made. All right, we're going to flip quickly. That's a belly band with some goodies in there. Oh, how pretty is that? It's a little pocket window. The little booklet tucked on there. Okay, it's tucked over the page. How cute is that? Tracing paper, lined paper, beautiful little pocket there, and you have a gorgeous tag tucked into that pocket. Let's see if I 
Let me get it back in there. And then another tag tucked into this little pocket on the back side. Uh-oh. See? I always do that to myself. <laughs> I love her little tab. And I love just all the little details that she puts in these. Now look, she makes little booklets out of these Rita flips. How cool is that? She always puts you tons and tons of extra journaling space in here. And then this, how cool is this? You get a little gift. What a neat idea. So you have the little pocket there, the little thank you. And this is like a little notebook in itself. How wonderful is this? I love this. And you can turn this over and use it for a writing board in your journal. How cool is that? And then look, she's got the little dangles here. So very pretty. I love that. And it just sits down in the center of that signature. Look at these gorgeous page tabs. I love them. Very, very pretty journal. Little pocket there. And it's a double pocket. More tracing paper. I love this. It's like a little bookmark. How stinking cute is that? A little bookmark made out of the fabric that she's used on the cover. Mm. Somebody's going to be lucky to get this journal. Look at all that goodness tucked into that pocket. I'm not going to take everything out of the pockets because um, I don't want the uh, video to be forever long. And this is a really large size journal. This is a flip out. So you get a big, beautiful goodies with this. Gorgeous. Okay. Okay. I'm not even touching that. <laughs> it's one of those flip outs that I think flips all the way out. But see, I'm already messing it up. Let me see. What did I do to it? Hang on. Let me fix it. Okay. We're leaving him. I am... So you have to get the journal to see the little flip out. <laughs> see, I can't even get the stinking tags to go in. <sighs> Why do I torture myself like this? Oh, my goodness. Get back in there. Okay. We're going to do that. Just know that it goes that way. <laughs> I'm just not gifted enough to get it back in there. <laughs> <sighs> tags. I'm not pulling all of these out because I'm telling you. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, I love this fabric. I am just obsessed with that fabric. And she's got you a little booklet underneath there. Okay, and here is a writing board. Put, put this writing board under your page before journaling. I love that. I love that. She has a lot of stuff tucked into this little journal, y'all. Look at the little button there in the center of the signature. I'm telling you, whoever gets this journal is going to love it. It's got so much goodies in it. You outdid yourself, Miss Diane. Very, very pretty journal. This folds all the way out, and I love all the little buttons that she's added, and the birds. Okay, and you get another watercolor. This folds out and it tucks up underneath that little flower. Very pretty. This is a pocket full of goodness. This one folds out. I'm not going to fold it out because it tuck, tucks under that little flower. Beautiful. Oh, I love this paper. And I love her little tabs. She did a good job. Look at that. I love that. So you have a large tag there. And then this is a pocket as well with goodies in it. I love this. Handmade paper is so cool. A tag there. So very pretty. Oh, I love this fabric flip. And then this is a pocket with another one of her watercolors. Uh oh. There we go. Oh, look at this. This is like a little booklet. 
with lined papers for you to journal in. It's got a little pocket back here. And then she's got you some other ephemera tucked in. This is the little pocket here. I'm telling y'all. Oh, I love her belly band. She's got you some vintage pages in there. And some cute little tags. You have a little thank you gift in here from her. And then in the back pocket you have some ephemera. And one of those little um, definition cards is what they're called. Very, very pretty journal, Diane. You did a great job on this one. It's so interactive, and I love how um, how uh, wonderful it is. Beautiful, chunky little journal. All right, what did we call this one? This one's called Bird Songs Nature. Okay, so that's how you'll find that one in the shop. Let me pull this one over because I think it's very similar. So you have the beautiful little dangle on the spine here. Again, with her little charms. Gorgeous little charms and bells and beads and beauties. And then you have this beautiful watercolor. It's tied with this gorgeous organza ribbon. Let me see. Okay, this is the information sheet. Let me just show you the back real quick. So the beautiful lace on the back cover as well. So very pretty. Okay, this one measures 10 by 7. It has four signatures, 192 pages with a three and a half inch spine. I absolutely love the way she does her spines as large as she does because that gives you such a good um, amount of room to, number one, lay your journal flat so that it's easier to journal in and to stuff it as full as you want to stuff it. So you have a little booklet there. You have tags here in this beautiful pocket. Again, she's got these laces coming out of the bottom. So we're going to flip quickly so that we can get to the other two. That one's interactive. Again, this is probably going to be a very interactive journal. It's a pocket there with a tag tucked in. Very pretty. I love all the little tiny details that she adds to her journals. Like you would have to look through this journal multiple times just to be able to see everything that she's done. This is one of those flip ups. I'm not fighting with it. <laughs> Beautiful belly band there. There's a tag tucked in there. She did a lot of work in these journals, y'all. Got kitties tucked in that pocket. And that's a large pocket with a large size journaling card. This one is a fold out. This is a lot of work. A lot of sewing that she's done in here. Okay, here's your little booklet. Your little thank you booklet. How cool is that? It's got the dangles on the spine. Love these pockets. I love, love, love the lace that she uses these pockets. You've inspired me, Miss Diane. I love this. This flips out. Oh, and it tucks underneath that little flower. You've inspired me to do a very lacy journal. This one flips open. I love how she's added all of the lined pages in here. And even if they're decorated or whatever, you have so much room to journal in these journals. Look at that cute little pocket with the two little tags. Um, and you have so much space for your writing, but you don't have to write on it. You can put pictures, you can, you know, do artwork, whatever you want to do. But I love that she gives you the option. There's your writing board with the beautiful little tag on it. There's one of her gorgeous watercolors. So very pretty. That's good thick paper there that you can do artwork on. Here's one of her watercolors, and it's a pocket, um, like an acetate pocket, and it's a pocket in the back, and then a pocket there. What a beautiful, beautiful little journaling card. That is gorgeous, and it's a little notebook back here. Okay, I might regret that I took that out. <laughs> I wish I had the talent to just pull things in and out and not have to worry about it, but for some reason, I'm just a fumble person. I just fumble it all up. <laughs> 
I've always been clumsy though, so stuffed pocket, that pretty center uh, page. This one flips open, and this is a large size pocket there with a couple of large size journaling um, cards in there, and then she's got the little tab with the dangle on it. There's her beautiful little bookmark, and that's so pretty. Whoops. She has stuffed this little journal. It's got lots and lots of pages. This little bag here is stuffed, but I'm not pulling everything out. It's paper clipped in, and so I won't fumble with it. So pretty. Cute little pocket there. I love the little page tab there, and then that's a large size pocket there. Yeah, that's what that is with the journaling card. And this is a little booklet. Fabric flip. So very pretty. Let's see. Very pretty. Okay, this is one of those little fold outs, I think. No, it's a little booklet. Okay. And it's got little pockets in it. I love that. Those are the little windows she puts in here. Beautiful little pocket she's got there with stuff tucked in. Just gorgeous. And then in the back pocket, you have lots of goodies and a thank you gift. I'm not going to pull all of this out. Um, but it's just beautiful. This is beautiful. All right, let me see what's the name on this one. This one is called Tweet Songs Nature. Okay, so this is a nature journal as well. And this one's called Tweet Songs. So that's how you'll be able to find it in the shop. Okay, let me grab the next one. All right, so this one is the Humpty Dumpty one. Can y'all see this? How stinking creative is this? It is, um, I don't want to say plastic, but it's almost like plastic. But can you see the dimension? How cool is that? So, so cool. And then you have your little dangle on the spine. Whoops. And then this is the back of the journal again. Um, with all of the dimension. So cool. So it looks like it's four signatures. It's tied with this organza ribbon. Let me get my information sheet here. Okay, so it's called Humpty Dumpty. It's nine by eight and a half. Four signatures, 142 pages with a two and a half inch spine. Um, A copy of a complete original 1903 book is in here in the third signature okay so I'm gonna leave all of this again you'll get, find her lucky penny and her watercolors in here look at how cool this fabric is she's used on this I mean this is the coolest little book cover so it's hardcover and it's got this Oh man, just very unique. I love it. I love the lace she's put here. Okay, so this is a full size pocket here. You have a tag and then another large size journaling tag. I'm definitely not going to pull that out because I'll fight with it. Again, another very interactive little journal here with lots of fold outs and tucks and pockets and goodies tucked in everywhere. Again, I won't be able to show you all the details because there's just two too many wonderful details to show you so you have to get the journal to see everything look at that I love that beautiful belly band here and then it's a pocket up here that folds out you have a little tag in there a little tuck there this folds out but she's got it um paper clip so it's a little booklet on both sides and look at that pretty lace she's got there 
large size tag here in this pocket. And I love, again, that she's added the little American flags in here. Look at how cute this is. So this is almost like chipboard. A little pocket there. That is so stinking cute. And then she's done it again here. I love how she did that. Pretty little journal card tucked in there. Little Rita flip with some goodies tucked in there. I love how she made the little banners out of the Twix candy bars. How stinking adorable is that? I love all of her little see-through pockets. So this is a triple pocket. So there's a tag there, a tag there, and a, t a couple of tags in the front pocket. And this one's a double pocket with tags in both pockets. Center of the signature. Pocket there. Again, one of those little fold-over booklets. This is so cute with all the little children's nursery rhymes. Little tags tucked into that tuck. And I love, she's done a lot of stitching in here too. Now how cute is this? I love the yellow signature. Do y'all see this? The whole little signature is yellow. How cool is this? Okay, this is that 1903 book, the copy that she was talking about in her information sheet. How cool, and she's printed it with um, on the back of the lined paper so that you still, you can read the story and you still have room for your journaling. What a neat idea, Diane. Very creative. This is a very unique journal, y'all. So if you love it as much as I do, you should probably snatch it up pretty quickly because I don't think it's going to last long. This one flips out with a tag in there. And this one is a tag there and then a little pocket there with a little Humpty Dumpty bingo card. How cute is that? Cute little um, Humpty Dumpty tag there. So adorable. have this little pocket here with the three little tags. And there's her little lucky penny in the shaker card with money. That's super cute the way she does that. That's a good little signature for you. There's your gift. And then the back of the cover is the same as the front. So, so cool. So this one is called Humpty Dumpty. That's how you'll find it in the shop. And let me grab this last little, well, it's not little. Look at this monster. It's called Chicken Little, Disney's Chicken Little. I love her little dangle here. Let's see if I can hold it up where you can see it. So she's got the little bell and all the little charms and beads and goodies hanging on there. I love the lace that she's put on the edge. And she's done some um, dyeing to it. And then she's got it wrapped with two of these red organza ribbons. And then that's the back of the journal. Hang on and let's get some measurements for this big boy. So stinking cute. I love, love, love these big journals like this. Okay. Here's my information sheet. Okay, so this one's 12 inches tall, 11 inches wide. It has two signatures, 118 pages with a three and a half inch spine. So I'll put all of the information back in the journal for you. Whoops. So we're going to tuck that. Well, let's look at the big pocket first. Oh, goodness. I can't even get the whole thing in. <laughs> it's so big. I love it. So we have a couple of tags tucked into this big pocket here. And you know what? I'm just going to tuck that right down in that pocket. I might just have to slide this back and forth. So she's got all these pretty little laces on the edges of the pages. This is so stinking cute. So it's a tuck right there. And then it's a notebook, a cool little flip-up notebook. There's a lot of pages for lots of room to journal. So you have a good little spot there for, or a good big spot for private journaling. How cool is that? And this is still the front cover. So this is, how cute. I love it. Can you find Chicken Little? <laughs> I love that so much. All right, so you have pockets here. 
Oh, why did I do that? <laughs> In a pocket here. Oh, I'm not pulling everything all the way out because y'all know. Love that. So very pretty. All about Chicken Little. Okay, so this opens up. And then you have a pocket here and a pocket here, both with tags. I love these. I love all pages that have all the little details like this. Okay, let me see. It feels thick. Oh, I missed. How did I miss this? Oh, my goodness. Okay. <laughs> I'm such a dork. Yeah, I'm telling y'all, you better get it because I miss stuff and I don't mean to. <laughs> But when you have all of the details that she puts in here, I mean, it's hard not to miss stuff with this. This is super cool. So this is a um, an envelope that she's attached. She's got a paper clip, but it's, it's stuffed with, with goodies. So you'll have to get it um, to see what's in there. Super cool. And I love her little butterflies here that she's put. How very cute is that? The window envelope pocket there with a large size tag. And then a tuck there with the tag and tags there. I love how interactive her little journals are. Or big journals. Tag there. And then a tag in that pocket there. And then this folds out and out again. This is so cute. Such a cute journal. So this is, let me see. Okay, this is tucked over this little page here so I'm not going to pull it apart because she's got it paper clipped very very cute little journal that folds out I love these these are awesome these are great pages to do artwork on too because they're good thick pages it'll take the mixed media really well so there's a little journal and spot and a couple of tags and ephemera in that pocket this is a pocket and I love she's added the little American flag and you have a little tag in there as well okay and then she's put you the extra little notebook in the center here with her dangles the stuff tucked in the pockets I love these so much and then a whole little notebook how cool is that with her beautiful, beautiful watercolors. I love that so much. How stinking cool. And you can use this for a writing board too. I love this with the maze. I like these little children's books like these. I always did as a child. I loved the little interactive children's books. That flips open. Okay, this is a booklet. So you have multiple lines pages there for journaling one flips open and I'm telling you y'all just have to get this journal because it is a big boy a big beautiful boy okay this one is a little booklet here and then that flips closed it's tied this flips on out but I'm not going to untie it so you have a large pocket there with a large tag I love this so much of course y'all know me and my love for these big big journals and so you got a tuck here. Things are tucked into there. I hope y'all can see everything. It won't fit completely in my camera. So and there's another one of those little interactive butterflies. I love the colors in this journal. It's very bright and colorful. It makes you want to journal in it. <laughs> okay, this folds up and she's just added so many little details again you have to just go back and look through it several times to see everything so you have a large size tag tucked in there um, okay and then I thought it was a pocket over here but it's a pocket there I'm such a dork <laughs> tag there large size tag tucked into that pocket the sky is falling I'll tell the king <laughs> and then this is a pocket here with a tag tucked in there and then I think yeah it's a pocket here with a tag tucked in there 
And then she's got a double tag, I mean a double pocket here with lots of little goodies in here. There's your little shaker card with your lucky penny and a thank you from Miss Diane to you. So this one is called Chicken Little and that's how you'll find it in the shop. And I hope you get it if you love it as much as I do. So thank you all so much for watching. Um, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for me if you will, please. If you have any comments or questions, you can leave them in the comment box below. And I hope y'all have a great day. Big hugs.